welcome back to the channel. As usual, it's blowing a gale and we're on a car park. We are in a car park, it's not very pretty. Uh, who's not very pretty? The car park. Oh. But we're here for a reason. Yes, and it just goes to show that not everywhere you stay can be Instagram pretty. Because sometimes you've got to take the rough and the smooth just to put yourself in a position to enjoy other things. So where are we? We are in Himpenpolster. Hepton Stroll. Yes. Which is in West Yorkshire near Halifax. I tell thee. That was in the West Yorkshire oh. accent. Oh, see. I tell thee. It's blowing a gale. We've had hail, rain and wind today. And believe it or not, we've even had really good solar charging batteries to mental. But we never seem to be able to escape this crap weather and being on a car park at the same time. But yesterday we had a lovely day walking around Kepton Stroll. And we're going to show you that now. Yeah. The man sticks ready to prop your eyeball. Where are we, Andrew? Uh, yet another graveyard. So, why have you brought me to a graveyard? Well, as you can imagine... You're trying to get me measured up. <laughs> there's a little story to this. And the story goes that in this graveyard is the grave of David Hartley, King David Hartley, who was a counterfeiter in the 1700s. And he counterfeited money by snipping the rings off existing coins, melting them down and making other coins. Where are you going with my interesting facts? I'm having a kit. Come walk with me. We'll show them love how to So now we've just got to find his grave. Oh it'll be the one with all the coins. David Hartley. Hung in seventeen seventy for his crimes. David Hartley and Body of Grace, his wife. Grace. David, his son. It must have been really small because it's not a big space to put three or four people in. Buried them deep, love. Buried them deep. Each other. I put them, so yeah. yeah. Oh, God. It's grim, isn't it? That for me would be a nightmare. So imagine I pop my clogs and I'm resting in peace and then they dig me up again and put you on top of me for the rest of my life. <laughs> that would be. Uh... Rough just I think I'd be gutted. <laughs> I just thought, oh, I'll have a bit of peace and quiet. Right, I'm going to put my coin. Mm -hmm. I have. What's that supposed to do? I don't know. What can I have? Uh, I don't know if I've got any. Oh, you go, there's another penny. Oh, Can you manage? Yeah, I might take 20 back. <laughs> <laughs> Put one on, take 20 back. And when we found his grave, guess what the link is with the papa? Yeah. Well, Chumbawumba sung a song called Snip Snip Snip, which was about these counterfeiters. <laughs> and he based the song on the melody of Abba's Money Money Money. But he got hung for his deeds. I wish someone had had me. And so did his brother, who tried to save him by killing the uh, guy who had arrested him. So they all got hung, and his body got dangled off the 
a chain on the hill. I'm going. It's like something you've baked. Rude. I'm David Hartley. This is my family. I can clip and make coins. Right, well, you can't be out here because I'm out here, I'm having a minute. I can actually hear you breathing, have you just sat just there? I'm just like Grace. So you're not dead? Sorry, there are no places left in hell. I'm on my way to Another beautiful day Hold in my love like she never float away Blessed by the winds of our Carolina home Well the winds now according to this are 50 mile an hour They're quite exposed um, and it just looks like oh it's going up to 55 next hour and it stays about 50 and it doesn't drop down to like 35 until about 11 o'clock tonight right so we're on the move then uh, i think probably go move over there yeah i think so it's coming from behind that building so at least we can get half of the van tucked up there we, we should i think we'll feel a difference if we don't we'll just move back okay okay uh... This is how bored we get on a wet day in Hepton Stall. But this, this is, this is my. I've took early retirement <laughs> to sit on a car park it rain and and eat a digestive biscuit. Not just any digestive biscuit though. This is a taste test between the cheap chocolate digestives I bought from Lidl and the expensive McVitie's that Andrew just bought from the post office in Hepton Stall. And we're going to see if on a blind tasting test you can tell the difference. Nah, I'm going to eat this one. We need to do a visual inspection first. Which one do you well, think? This looks like it's... A... No, look closer. Well, that one's thinner than that one. That one's darker than that one. So which one do you think is the expensive one? That one. Okay. Now you've got to taste test them. Just like a chocolate biscuit. Mm hmm That one is streets ahead of that one. That is the digestive brand expensive. I can't tell the difference. It's richer chocolate. The biscuit is crunchier but lighter. That's the boy. Right, we're going to do a blind tasting test. I'm not, that's it, I've done. No, blind. I'm not. Blind. I'm not. <laughs> You're a miserable I'm son. Not, that's so. it, I've done, I've won. If anyone literally <laughs> is going to watch this or is watching this, <laughs> uh, you, you, you must really have no to do. Okay, so, sample number one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sample number two. Mm. Number two. Oh, well done. Number two, yeah. Stop buying them crappy. Hey, look, we're retired now. We're on a budget. Oh, no. You haven't made a gazillion yet. Yeah. Look how thin chocolate is on it, look. It is shocking thin, when, you, when you look at them comp in comparison. Thick. Hey Google, play Radio 2.
Well, what a day yesterday in that rain. Couldn't believe it. Yeah, the weather were proper rainy, windy, sleet, hail. It it were you'd never know now because it looks quite bright, but it's a bit chilly. But my amazing epiphany because of my superior vast knowledge um of moving of wind, yes. I learned from a master. Uh, moving the van give us actually a, a good night's sleep so we were protected from it got to about 55 mile an hour which is not that bad but when you're in van you know what it's like it's hard work a dog don't like it so we don't get any sleep so moving was a good move on my part it didn't improve the view I have to say we did look well no because when I'm, a, I'm in bed all I'm doing is looking no. at you <laughs> it's so rude not a view the view from the van but there you go that's what you get when you're in car parks Yes, how much would you pay to stop on a car park like this? Question. We paid five pounds, which is really great. It's great <laughs> It's great that the social club offer this service, you feel welcome. And when we spoke to Jean to book our place, she was delightful. And I can't, yeah, it's a really good, a good scheme. They accept five vans, ideally you ring up and book in advance so you know you've got a spot because there is a big sign up that'll say we'll turn you away if um, if we haven't got any room because it's about their license they're only licensed yeah. for five so it's about playing by the rules but you can just turn up you've still got a ringer anyway but if there were you know if you were booked up that night you'd be going somewhere else there's also access to um an elson so there's a couple of levers or tools to lift a manhole cover uh, there's no water there to rinse, which you know can be hard work, but it's there if you need it. And there's also fresh water if you need it. So it's a good, it's a good spot. Which you get the code for the locks from Jean. Security code. I'm not going to tell you what it is because <laughs> I've forgotten. But it's got four digits. You know what I'm like with maths. Um, we've probably been a bit coy with this because actually we've only showed you a view of waste disposal of a fence of a communications tower when actually when you turn 180 degrees it's actually quite lovely oh it is it's beautiful when well, they've seen it they'll have seen it in the footage we've already shown i don't i don't know what footage you show i have not seen it in the future you took the drone footage off we've forgotten that already uh, there's lots of things i'd like to forget i've got to say so that's it for this vlog is we, it yeah this is it we're done oh. we are staying in yorkshire I don't get involved in a lot of stuff, you know. I <laughs> you can tell who does the planning. From many things. However, the next place we're going to is right up your street. Right up my alley. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I set you up for these things? Anyway, it will involve beer. Everyone likes something that involves beer. Is it in Yorkshire? I it, tell they. It is. It's in Yorkshire. <laughs> Although they might chuck us out with your horrific we accent. We love Yorkshire, but it's really hard to say that when you're a Lancashire lad. Anyway, see you next time and thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thank you very much. Keep them banterful and I'm comments switching him off coming now because. It goes on.